Frank, I'm a singing voice teacher. I help people and singers like you to find their singing voices and take them to the apex of their singing career. And right away, I'll be discussing a topic called the physiology of the voice. Amazing God, amazing God, you do marvelous things. Amazing God, you do marvelous things. Amazing God. Now, ordinarily or literally, what is physiology? It simply means the study of the way in which living organisms function so we are studying the way living organisms function now what then is physiology of the voice it can be defined as the study of the way in which our voice functions it can be defined as the study of the way in which our voices function now right away uh, i'd like to say something here then if you know this topic very well it will help you in singing properly to help you in, in manipulating the words uh, because you, you because you've known your makeup now you definitely wake up once you've known your makeup you woke up so this topic is, will help you to know how the sound leaves your body it will help you to to know uh, everything about your voice as in vocal anatomy and so on and so forth now how do we create sound sound is created when we set our vibrating mass into motion with air we set air into motion with the vibrating mass of our vocal membrane wow that is saying that without a breath there's no way you can sing and without the vibrating mass there's no way you can sing so you need vibration and also you need air so the two they go together they go pari pursue together they go they are sequenon to each other so for us to make sound we need air and also we need the vibrating mass of our vocal membrane now let's place your hands right here place your hands like this and also place your hands here now just say anything now if you're doing that you're watching me now if you're doing that you find that the air is hitting the back of your hand as you're talking and also there's vibration here right away now the same thing when we sing we'll find the same thing the air heat in the back of our hands and also this region this pharynx is vibrating is that okay so now in singing again it sounds like that let's sing now and see how it goes i love you lord and i lift my voice now, if you sang, you notice the, the air hitting the back of your hand, and also there's vibration here at this region. That's how it seems. For us to make sound, we need the vibrating mass, and also we need air. Now, right away, the voice itself is like a synthesis between a wind instrument and a string instrument. Now, for the string instrument, there's vibration. Why? For the uh, air, you need a trumpet, which allows you to blow air inside. So without air. That instrument cannot make sound. That's to say the trumpet. The same thing on the, on the bass guitar, on the string instrument. If there's no vibration on the strings, then there'll be no sound at all. Now, just look at look at me right away. Just below your chain, uh, you find a bomb here. A bomb is a projection on the surface level. And also, uh, this, this place is called the Adam's apple. And it can be called again the larynx. The larynx itself contains so many muscles. We have a call the cricothyroid muscles, which is responsible for tensing the vocal folds. We have a call the, 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 the vocalis muscles, which is responsible again for, for relaxing the vocal folds. And also, we have a call the teratinoid muscles, which is responsible again for relaxing the vocal folds. Now, having known this now, I said the larynx contains so many muscles, and among these, you find the vocal fold. The, the vocal folds are, are, are a pair of muscles facing each other. Now, when we breathe, the vocal folds open, and when we sing or talk, the vocal folds they come together. Now, how are they called the, the vocal folds adduction? Vocal fold adduction. Vocal fold adduction is the come together of the two of the folds. For us to sing, 
we need this force coming together. So the coming together of this force is referred to as what they call vocal fold adduction. Now, what, when breathing, you need to understand that uh, you must understand the concept of what they call vocal force abduction. The first one is adduction, vocal fold adduction, while the second one is called vocal fold abduction. Now, the vocal fold needs to come together, and air, when air passes through them, it vibrates. But in breathing, you 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 abduct. While in singing, you adduct, adduct and abduct. So in breathing, you find that out your folds here. You, uh, there's no vibration at all in breathing. That's why when you breathe, just just place your just place your hands here and breathe now. Now you find that that there's no vibration at all. Now that's what called the vocal fold abduction. Now because they they've given way the first they've given way. Now in vocal fold abduction, you find out that the first they they are together, air passing it, it begins to vibrate. That's what called the vocal fold abduction. Now you must know again as a singer, you must know what called the hyper abduction and hypo abduction. I don't, I don't want to go into that one right away, but uh, in subsequent time I'll visit that one. Now we have what are called vocal anatomy. I'll take you through the vocal anatomy so that you can understand how your body works when singing. Now we have what are called the larynx. The larynx is the voice box and it's here, this region. It's the organ which enables us to talk. Now we have again what we call the pharynx. The pharynx is the throat which goes above your larynx. It now divides into what we call the laryngopharynx. The laryngopharynx. Now which is above the, the, the larynx. Now we have what we call the oropharynx which goes into the mouth and to the mouth. And we have what we call the nasopharynx which goes into the nose. Wow, that's very wonderful. So you, if you know these uh, uh, organs, it will help you in uh, manipulating notes right away. The next one is called the trachea. The trachea is the windpipe, is the tube that connects your larynx to your throat. Right, the tube that connects your larynx to your throat and the uh, uh, larynx sits on top of the trachea. The next one now is called the esophagus. The esophagus is your, is your food pipe and it's just behind your trachea and also behind your larynx. Now, the pharynx carries both food and water. It carries your air. And air passes through the larynx and trachea while food, uh, while, while food passes through your esophagus. The next one is called your spina colon. The spina colon is just behind your esophagus. And, and if, you can, if you, you can press the back of the neck to feel the spinal column. Why the last one again on the leaves here is called the diaphragm. The diaphragm is a doom-shaped muscle. It's a chief organ for respiration. So the diaphragm sits actually sits uh, at the base of your rib cage. When you inhale, it goes down, and when you exhale, it comes back. If you've not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe. Like the page, leave a comment, we'll reply your comment because your comments, they're actually important to us.